Hello. It is April 19th, 2021. Early voting starts today. And I would love to talk about what's on the ballot. But unfortunately, I can't. I can't. I can't in good conscience talk about what's on the ballot today. I might do that tomorrow. But however, Austin, Texas, Travis County failed this city. It failed this city and made national news yesterday. That's right. We made national news. Austin, Texas made national news. And you want to know why we made national news? That, that's what this video is about. This is heartbreaking. This, this should never have happened. Shooting suspect, formerly deputy, monster got bailed. Bail decrease, ankle monitor removed. You're right. This, this violence is unnecessary. Very unnecessary. Those tragic lives that lost yesterday were very unnecessary and avoidable. Now people are going to say, this is why we need to take away the guns. But no, no. This isn't one of those cases. This is actually a lot worse than an anti-second gun case. No, no, this is much worse. Former Travis County deputy suspect of fatal shooting three people in North Austin Sunday was left largely unsupervised by the criminal justice system months after a woman asserted in sworn affidavits that she and a child feared he would hurt them. By the way, they caught him near Maynard. Examination of court records shows the monster, a former property crime detective with the Travis County Sheriff's Office, spent 16 days in jail last summer on charges of sexually assaulting a child. Monster 41 then posted bail, which was set at 50000 on June 22nd. The court ordered him to not, or not contact or go within 200 feet of the child. Monster was also ordered to wear a GPS tracking device. But five months after his release, with the case still pending, Travis County Judge ordered the removal of the device. On November 5th, Monster R the Monster's lawyer argued written motion to the court that the monster had worn the electoral or electronic monitor for 144 days with no substantial violations and it should be removed. State District Judge Karen Sage agreed he should have never been on bail. I'm sorry, there's certain cases out there now, I get that everyone should be innocent until proven guilty, and I do stand by that. But there are certain cases out there that you might want to reconsider. You know, I think in this case, in this particular case, he should have stayed in jail until a court case. Until he was able to be, be heard. Make, make arrangements for something this serious. Maybe not have certain cases be heard until this one's heard. It's just my, my personal opinion. Because three people are dead because our Travis County failed them. Failed them. This is, this is sickening. And we voted for these people. These are the people we vote. This is why voting matters. This is why I wanted to do a voting episode. But no, I'm stuck here. Talking about monsters, straight up monsters and the court system that failed them, failed victims. I don't even want to read the rest of this because it's too disturbing. I'm glad that this guy was caught, but those three lives are on the Travis County judge, Karen Sage. Let's go ahead and continue reading. State District Judge Karen Sage agreed to the decision. Largely unsupervised months after the woman asserted fear for her and her child's safety 
with the monster out on jail, out of jail. The police did not identify the shooting victim Sunday, but saying only that those killed were two women and a man. Officials said that child related to the case was safe and in police custody. Officials said the attack, which happened just before noon in an apartment complex near the Arboretum shopping area, was an act of domestic violence. In an interview with American Statesman Sunday, Sage said that she typically agrees to remove tracking devices when the defendant has exhibited a pattern of compliance and has not incurred any violation. Sage, who left in place the monster's no contact and distance stipulations, says she rarely keeps defendants on GPS tracking more than 90 days if they have been compliant. He has been on GPS for five months with no violation. Sage says it's pretty common thing for me to do, frankly. The manhunt involved the local authorities as well as FBI was underway Sunday and the officials said that they do not know if blah, 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 yeah. The monster's bail condition required him to surrender all firearms and not obtain any new ones. Yeah, how, how's those gun laws going to Go to act if he knows how to get one under the black market. And in the application of protective order after the monster's arrest, the woman said that she worried for her safety and the children. I'm afraid that he'll try to hurt me. Hurt me or the children because these allegations have come out. He may lose his career. Well, he pretty much has no career now. She stated, the monster had prior military experience and SWAT training. If he wanted to hurt someone, he would know how. The decision by Sage removed the tracking device underscores the increased challenges of facing judges doing an ongoing natural conversation on criminal justice reform. Progressive activists are pushing for bail reform and want judges to grant no-cost personal bonds to people accused of many violent and nonviolent offenses. Yeah, let's have a discussion about nonviolent offenses. I'm willing to have that discussion. I'm willing to have that debate. And I might be even sympathetic to nonviolent offenses and having a no cost bail. But violent violent offenses, that's where I draw the line in the sand. Prior to granting an order to remove the monitoring devices, Sage reviewed the allegation from Travis County Prosecutor that the monster violated his terms in an emergency protective order of the child sexually assault case in order to prohibit the monster from contacting the child. On July 6, prosecutor fired a motion to increase the monster's bond, alleging that he has sent an email accusing the woman of a cash grab and attached multiple images suspecting her Multiple images depicting her undressing and engaging in sexual acts. Who cares? Doesn't matter. You're a monster. Sage granted the motion increasing the monster's bond to 75000 Kelsey McKay, a former Travis County prosecutor, said criminal justice system has not figured out how to best identify dangerous offenders. How about this? Anyone that's charged with attacks in a sexual nature towards a minor, they're probably dangerous. I'm sorry, I get, I know this is probably going long enough. In my experience, she's quite cautious and mindful of these cases. Yeah, whatever, three people are dead. Three, three people are dead. But yet, they want to be mindful. Give me a break. Anyways, The person, the monster's captured behind prison, not prison, but in jail, in custody, good riddance. Now, <clears throat> now keep in mind, I may have showed the person's photo, but I didn't mention the race because race is irrelevant. But anyways, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. Smash the like and subscribe button. Remember, early voting in Austin starts today. Early voting in Texas starts today. 
make sure you get your voices heard so we can hold the people who are responsible for a monster like this to be on street. Get your voices heard. Yeah, there's Prop B and Prop F. If you want to vote, if you're in Austin, vote no for Proposition F. We don't need a strong mayor. We don't need a strong mayor. He, he's the reason why we have Prop B, to inter reintroduce the camping ban. Anyways, that's it. Make sure you get out and vote if you're in Texas. And have yourself a wonderful day, morning or evening.